what we're doing in this task is we put a couple of electrodes over this uh, muscle right here, the orbicularis oculi, this muscle underneath the eye, and we're measuring the contraction of the muscle when an individual blinks. And we get them to blink in the task by presenting brief bursts of loud noise over some headphones. So they have the headphones on, they're looking at a picture on the screen, and after the picture has been on the screen for a couple of seconds, they hear a burst of, of noise. And depending on what they're viewing, the magnitude or the intensity of their blink um, changes. So you can think about it um, if you're in a scary movie and you hear a loud noise, you're going to have a larger reflex than if you're in a comedy and you hear a very loud noise. So the reflex moves around based on an organism's motivational state. And so we can use that for clinical science um, in a number of, of interesting ways. And so in this particular study, we're interested in their defensive response during more suicide-related images with the idea that our adolescents who may be thinking about or who have recently attempted suicide may show different patterns than our adolescents who may also have a history of um, depression or anxiety, but may have never thought about or engaged in any kinds of behaviors to hurt themselves. So this is one of the tasks that the adolescents are completing um, when they come into the lab for a large study that we're conducting interested in identifying behavioral and biologically based um, indicators of suicide risk among youth.